see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, sing does that star-spangled banner in wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Ready? Two! Please remain standing for the invocation by FDMY Chaplain, Father Christopher Keenan. Detail, hunt cover. Lord, our creator, we gather with sadness and loss in our hearts as we always remember and never forget our husband, father, son, brother, and dear friend, Deputy Chief Michael Fahey. We ask you to continue to bring your light to the heaviness of our hearts. As we honor here Michael's supreme sacrifice, we continue to carry in our hearts in prayer his beautiful wife, Fiona, and both their parents, Tom and Mary and Pat and Nora, with their beloved children, uh, Michael and Anna and Cormac, and all their families and all their families and friends who have been with them, stood with them these two years. Michael and Fiona have witnessed to all of us in their relationship together in their sacrament of marriage that our lives are not for our own sake, they're for the sake of others. May we honor them as a couple by choosing to move from the minimum of what's required of us to be the maximum of what each one of us is capable of being. So we thank you, Lord, our creator, for bringing life to the heaviness of our hearts by bringing us together as a fire department family today. We know that you have given to each of us right faith, certain hope, and perfect charity. And may each of us grow through our insight and wisdom to be, as Michael witnessed to us, being the best of he, who he could be with his Fiona and children and the department. Amen. Detail recover. Will everyone please be seated? Detail at ease. Good morning. My name is Battalion Chief Brian Fink. I'm the commanding officer of the 19th Battalion, and I want to thank everyone for coming here today for our plaque dedication. 
honoring our fallen member, Deputy Chief Michael J. Fahey, lost to us on September 27, 2016. I would now like to introduce the members of the dais. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. <laughs> Fire Commissioner Daniel Nigro. <laughs> Chief of the Department James Leonard. <laughs> First Deputy Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. If you could just hold your applause until I finish announcing the remainder of the uh, members on the dais. Bronx Borough Commander Joseph Wozniaka. Assistant Chief of Operations Anthony DeVita. Assistant Chief of Fire Prevention Thomas McCavanaugh. Chief of Training Thomas Richardson. Manhattan Borough Commander Roger Sakowicz. Brooklyn Borough Commander Wayne Cartwright. Chief Fire Marshal Thomas Kane. Assistant Chief Jack Hodgins. Assistant Chief of VMS Operations Fred Villani. Chief of Counterterrorism and Preparedness Tom Correo. Chief of Special Operations John Esposito. Deputy Manhattan Borough Commander Mike Gallup. Deputy Assistant Chief of Operations, Richard Blattis. Deputy Assistant Chief of Operations, Christopher Boyle. Deputy Assistant Chief of Fire Prevention, Joseph Jordan. Deputy Assistant Chief of Fire Prevention, John Buckite. Division 7 Commander, Joseph Sicente. Captain of Engine 75, Christopher Coppola. Captain of Ladder 33, James Scarcus. UFA Vice President, Leroy McGinnis. President of the Uniformed Fire Officers Association, Jake LaMunda. UFA Bronx Trustee, William Greco. FDNY Chaplain, Father Christopher Keenan. We would also like to give a warm welcome to New York City Council Member Fernando Cabrera, <laughs> Assembly Member Victor Pichardo, <laughs> Inspector Wilson Arambolas from the 46th Precinct, <laughs> and Chief Tom Fitzpatrick from the Yonkers Fire Department. We are especially honored to have the family of Deputy Chief Michael J. Fahey here today. His wife, Fiona. His, his daughter, Anna. His sons, Michael and Cormac. His mother, Mary. His father, retired Battalion Chief Thomas Fahey. His sister, Mary Shepherdson. And his brother, Thomas. This is as well as a number of other family members and close personal friends. Welcome to you all. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and to thank all of the officers and firefighters of Engine 75 and Ladder 33 for all of the hard work in constructing this memorial wall to honor our fallen brothers. Guys, thank you. I would also like to acknowledge and thank Marilyn Halpin for her very generous donation which helped fund the building of the wall. Thank you, Marilyn. I'm honored to introduce our first speaker, Mayor Bill de Blasio.
Thank you very much, Chief. And I want to thank everybody who's here, every single person who is here to honor Deputy Chief Michael Fahey for all he did for all of us. And I want to take a moment to thank everyone who was part of putting together and constructing this beautiful memorial wall. It's really striking and moving. And this is something we have to do to remember the greatness of those who sacrifice for us. When we do that, when we put someone's name permanently into our history, it's not something that most New Yorkers ever assume would happen to them. It's something that has to be merited to be etched in the history of this city and this department forever. We wish with all our hearts it was not through tragedy. But we know that in the case of Michael Fahey, we are remembering a man who was great in every way, who was exemplary, who was heroic, who is the kind of person we want future generations to remember and reflect upon and learn from. It's so important we do this for the family. It's so important we do this for all the brother and sister members of the FDNY. But we also do it for our community, for our city, to remember the greatness and those who walked among us and did things so extraordinary. I want to thank all of the leadership of the FDNY who are here today, Commissioner Nigro, First Deputy Commissioner Kavanaugh, Chief Leonard, all the leaders who have continued the extraordinary tradition of this department and continued to make it greater. I want to thank for their tremendous support of the FDNY, Assemblymember Victor Pichardo, and Council Member Fernando Cabrera. Thank you. And those who represent the men and women of this department, I want to thank the union leadership, President Jake LaMonda, President of UFOA, and Leroy McGinnis, Vice President of the UFA. Thank you for being here. You know, the more I heard the stories of Michael Fahey's life, the more struck I was that he was truly a man who had everything, who had the brains, who had the skill, who had the leadership qualities. Someone who literally could have done anything. And for sure, someone who could have devoted his life to his own betterment. With that kind of talent, with those kind of brains, he could have said, I'm going to make millions and millions of dollars. No one would have been surprised. But inside him burned a desire to do something greater. And it's impressive in anyone. But when you think about someone who passes up fortune in the name of doing something for everyday people, including strangers he would never know the names of, that takes a particular strength, a particular conviction, a particular goodness. Back in 1999, Michael was a young lawyer. All the talent in the world, everyone could see it. And he reached a crossroads and he made a decision. And he wrote a letter back then and he said, while I enjoyed the study of law, I feel that I need a career with a higher, more honorable purpose, and I would like to be a New York City firefighter. To everyone here, I think we would all agree, Michael chose the career with the highest purpose. And he joined the finest department anywhere in the world. He knew what he believed in. And it is not a surprise that once he applied those extraordinary skills and that extraordinary conviction and that extraordinary heart to his work, he rose up in this department rapidly. Many have noted that had he stayed with us, 
had we had the blessing of his presence, there's a very good chance he would have been sitting in one of these chairs not so long from now. But indeed, we did lose him two years ago. I, like so many of us, watched his family in their hour of pain, and my respect for them grew with every passing moment because it's so difficult for a family going through this, and they're not only thrust into tragedy, they're thrust into the public eye. But this family showed us something truly special. Fiona, your strength, your dignity, your grace was exceptional. I know it was never easy, but God bless you for it. And Michael, I can see, I can imagine how proud your dad was of you and all the great things ahead for you. To Michael's, Michael Sr.'s dad, retired battalion chief Thomas Fahey, you'll be speaking to us later. But thank you for all you have done for this city and this department and for the example you have set. To Michael's mom, Mary, thank you for bringing him up the right way and for the values you gave him, and to all the family members. You see the measure of family in the moment of tragedy, and this family is good and strong. They care deeply for each other, and they care for all those around them, and that's what each generation has passed to the next. To young Michael, I want to say something I hope you'll remember, and we I reflected on this at the time of the tragedy and during the funeral, but I want to say it to you one more time and in another way, that you've probably, in just these last two years, felt a whole lot, a whole lot of complicated, difficult things, and you've missed your dad. But I imagine you've also had so many wonderful occasions to remember how good he was and to hear the stories of him from everyone who knew him. You know, it's a sad truth in the world. There's a lot of young men that never get to know their dad at all. And there's a lot of young men who sometimes have to wonder later in life what their dad left them. But I can tell you from my own personal experience, losing my dad way too young, and that he also served in uniform. When you know your dad's a hero, you will take that with you every day of your life. It will boost you, it will strengthen you. And even in a moment of doubt, you'll know that the blood coursing through your veins is the blood of a hero. So carry that with you as a strength. To everyone, the plaque we dedicate, the street we rename, should remind us, should inspire us, first, to always be there for this family, second, to always be there for each other, to continue that great tradition of the FDNY, that extraordinary family, and third, to be there for a greater good. That is how Michael lived. Let's all try and live as best we can, the way Michael did and the way Michael would wish us to. God bless you all, God bless this family, and God bless the FDNY. Thank you, Mayor de Blasio. Next, we will hear from our fire commissioner, Daniel Nigro. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Mayor, for those very kind words. At this very moment, two years ago today, we were all reeling from the death of such an extraordinary young man, a firefighter destined to lead others for years to come. Michael Fahey didn't just rise through the ranks, he soared. After five years on the job, he was a lieutenant, 
three years later, a captain, and only five years after that, he was promoted to battalion chief. In fact, in our 153-year history, Michael Fahey is the second fastest ever to reach that rank. That, that's an incredible achievement. He was a brilliant man, loaded with immense talent and ability. You all know he worked on Wall Street and was a lawyer as well, graduating with honors, easily passing the New York, City, New York and New Jersey bar, and serving as editor of the Law Review while he attended New York Law School. But what brought him fulfillment was serving as a New York City firefighter. He loved helping others. He cared deeply for those he served with, his tight-knit firehouse family from his first days at Engine 35 and Ladder 14 in Harlem. And he cared deeply for those he led as well, especially here in this house. His mission every day was not only to protect New Yorkers, it was to protect every firefighter in the battalion. In his final moments, he was doing what he loved. His decisions made sure no one else was seriously hurt. He put himself directly in harm's way so that others would be protected and saved. This plaque we dedicate this morning is an enduring symbol of Michael's incredible leadership and bravery. To Michael's family, Fiona, his incredibly strong wife, Tom and Mary, his wonderful parents, and most of all, Anna, Michael, and Cormac.